liquid snake. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, more Metal Gear Solid. I don't really remember what happened last time. Um, let's see, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, we had just seen those two, Liquid and uh, and Ocelot. Um, and we learned something about the key. Yes, which we learned about how the key works, and then Snake pulled it out to look at it, and then dropped it in a ditch. So, we have to go get it. And meanwhile, people will be shooting at us the whole way because we were found out. So... Let's uh, turn on the analog stick, so we can use that. Uh, come on, snake. So we just... Uh... No, we're running out of shots, actually. No, we're not. We got plenty. Alright, because of the radar jamming, we can't actually see any, uh, any soldiers that might appear. But, I mean, we can't see them on our radar. We'd be very, it'd be very difficult, I guess, I should say. But that's okay. There apparently weren't any in our way. Oh, in that area, and now we have our radar, so... And there's the ditch that was dropped into, that that card was dropped into. So, uh, we gotta go in there. Except that it apparently hurts us. I am not really sure why. There's a bomb. We don't want that in our inventory. Getting a bomb in your inventory is not, not a good thing. So we just gotta keep looking around. We could call about it. I guess this is acid. It must lost be. The key. Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. If you use the mine detector, you should be able to find the key, even if it fell into the drainage ditch. Whatever you do, find that key. I think I need to turn the game sound up a bit. Tell me if that's balanced badly. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Oh. Mind detector. Yes. The mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. I don't think that would actually work, but okay. Um, let's see. What, what does the mind detector show? Oh. Something here. Pal key. I think that was it. You got the card key. Good. Now get back to the control room and use that key to re input the PAL codes. Stop that launch. You got the card key back? Good job. Now hurry to the control room. I think in the Twin Snakes version. I could be wrong. I think in the Twin Snakes version, it's inside a rat, and you have to kill the rat to get it. Which is a pretty interesting change. Like a rat has eaten it or something. I could be wrong. <laughs> it's a drainage ditch, so it drains acid. That's what. That's what it is. Uh. 
I, I, I like that it has three separate loading areas for this one room. Alright, uh... No, I don't think... I don't think this takes me where I need to go, actually. I gotta go up here. Hmm. Liquid and ocelot are gone. No guard either. Well, that's kind of fishy. Oh, there's the guard. Spoke too soon. Well, he won't notice me in this box. I hope. Hmm? Where'd he go? Oh, he's headed that way again. Oh, I could just walk around in this, I guess. He'll never notice. Oh, he noticed. Oh, there are more guards. Well, that's just annoying. Kind of stupid of me. There's a uh, there's a camera. There's a lot of cameras actually. It's gonna make things hard. It seems like there's a camera right here, right above me as well. Yeah. So the only way I'm getting through this is chat. Another jack grenade, I guess. Let's see if there's something over here. Yeah, ration. That'll be useful. Okay. So, we did the first one, and now there's, um... I guess I could use the PSG-1 to take them out. Or a Stinger Missile. Um, yeah, an Akita would be interesting as well. Could use C4, I guess. A Stun Grenade. Hmm. Oh, hello. I'm very sneaky. 
How do we freeze in heat? You'll see. Uh, <laughs> there, there is actually, um, there is a way to do it. Um, it involves uh, the use of some earlier areas we've been to. Uh oh, I missed. go okay yeah backtracking this game has the worst of the backtracking uh, of the 3d games um, I think Metal Gear 2 has the worst from what I've heard I haven't played it um, but of of the games that uh, of the the PlayStation era games I think this one's the worst as far as backtracking goes and then there's a bit in MGS 2 as well um, but I don't think there's there's very very little in MGS3 and I think none in MGS4 so it gets better and then Peace Walker is just a really weird setup oh hmm. I'm gonna have to go through this every time and uh, gonna get low in chaff grenades really quickly Let's see what's over here. Stinger missiles. That's really odd that there were stinger missiles there. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot about that trap. Anyway, so we just got to spend a bit of time in here. And this should freeze the key, just being in here for a while. Now freeze that key. Get That's somewhere stacking. cold. Keys temperature. Find some place cold. Doesn't this count? Pretty sure this should do it. Next, you've got to cool the card key. Where should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. But you're close to the warehouse where you fought Raven, right? That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and there's no heater either. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. I didn't think about that, about uh, having it equipped keeping it from freezing. I don't think that's the case for the PAL key, but I could be wrong. Again, you can shoot the ravens and, uh, and they will attack you. I don't, I don't think equipping it keeps it from freezing. I could be wrong. So, I'm just gonna get that cold all over me. <laughs> Cause that's how it works, right? It'd be nice if you could pick up the minigun. Even if there's nothing to fight with it, just, just pick it up and start shooting it. It'd be fun. And to give you something to do while you're in this really... while you're trying to cool down this key. Uh... Oh, there we go. So we've frozen the key, that didn't take too long. Now heating up the key, that's going to take a bit longer.
Oh, I threw two of them. I didn't realize. Oops. Now I'm low on chaff grenades. That's not good. Um, I'm not sure how to get in there without chaff grenades, is the thing. How to get through that room, or how to get into uh, this room without chaff grenades. Hmm, maybe crawling would help? I don't, I don't think so. Those cameras, they just really create a problem. Oh wait, there's... There's nothing over here. That's right, I have to go up. Guard is. Um, um, I say I really need to know where that guard is, but I don't exactly know how to hide from him. I think that card key will actually heat up if you're not careful. Now, for crawling, we won't make noises as we go over these gratings, so hopefully he won't notice us. So we actually made it past him for once. And, uh... Hmm. I hate to... I hate to use the chaff grenade because I'm getting so low in them. But I guess I... I guess I have to. I don't think there's any other way to get past these, uh... To get past these cameras. I can't think of anything, anyway. There might be a way. Okay, there we go. So now I gotta use my last chaff grenade, trying to get out of here. Suppose I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to. Never mind. But I still will have to at a later part. Sure, they won't notice this box at all. Hopefully, he's coming this way. Up, oh, he noticed the box. Just the box. Get out of the way. Well, 
<laughs> uh, that was not the best plan. Let's see, where's the body armor? Right here. <laughs> All right, so hopefully I can escape them like this. Oh no, they spotted me as I was climbing. I have no idea how to get through this section without getting caught. I'm sure there's a way, but I don't know it. I hope this entire stream isn't just going to be, be me putting in the PAL codes. <laughs> that would be incredibly depressing. Spend an entire stream on that. Then again, I guess I could just tell people skip this one. <laughs> There we go. That did it. <laughs> or I could go longer. I suppose I could do that. Oh, and now there are guards here. That makes things a bit harder. Where are you gonna turn? You're gonna turn that way. I knew you would. I knew you were gonna do that. Just because it's the best way to uh, to catch people. I don't know. That's what I would have done as a level designer, I think. So I would have had him face that way. So the next thing we have to do is heat the key. Again, I think I could attack these things, but um, <laughs> I don't really want to lose any more life than I have to. So, um, <clears throat> so it's pretty odd that um, about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake. Have you ever heard of something called fox dye? No. Fox dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. 
Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. The plot thickens. So it seems that uh, Naomi Hunter must have been a spy after all. <clears throat> that is, a, I guess, a double agent? Well, we, she wasn't a, a spy. She was just a medic. Uh, but I guess she was a spy for these terrorists. Not me. Not, not, not talking about myself. Oh, hello. That was just, that was just mean. Why, why would you do that? That wasn't even the way I was supposed to go. Oh! And there's a gun turret as well. In the place where my... where my radar is jammed. Good thing I had the uh, body armor on. <clears throat> so, whatever uh, Naomi injected us with appears to be something called fox dye. Some kind of virus that apparently kills people with a heart attack. But only targets specific people, not just anyone. I wonder what the objective could have been. Killing the arms tech president and uh, and the DARPA chief doesn't seem like a great plan for anyone, really. With them dead, they can't get any information from them. The terrorist plan. It's not good for them. Not sure why this place is on full alert, but we want to warm up this PAL card. It's normal temperature right now. This place looks really hot though. I wonder if getting hit by that steam would, would uh, heat it up right away. Nope. That was totally on purpose so that I could test that. That is... That is what that was. Oh. There are... There are guards in here. There are... are also items. Well, that actually would make it worthwhile their items. Oh, there aren't guards, there are cameras. Using all my ration there. Uh, body armor. Chaff grenades! Chaff grenades are nice. They had already gotten... oh, Ocelot was already going to kill the chief. Well then why did he have him tied up to that C4 rig? Hmm. Doesn't really make sense to me. I think I can just crawl through here.
Okay. Uh, well, if it was if it was to kill him, you could have just put a bullet in him. It doesn't really make sense. Um, unless they specifically wanted to kill him with a heart attack for some reason. Which I guess that makes sense if if they had a reason to do that, then that makes sense to do. Or, or that makes sense to, to do it that way. But the way they reacted, it doesn't seem like they even knew that that would, was a thing that could happen. Hmm. A lot of questions about this. A lot of things don't add up. Seems like to me. But, um, especially, especially since, well, I mean, I guess it's because, uh, he copied him down to the blood, but the, 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 was it the Darker Chief, or was it the, yeah, I think it was the Darker Chief, um, I, I, I think I got them mixed up, I don't know, one of them was actually Decoy Octopus, it wasn't really the same guy. They already had the information, so they didn't care what happened to them. Yeah, but why specifically use this fox die to kill them off? To what end? It didn't really make it doesn't really make any sense to me. Why would they send in an agent infected with fox die specifically to kill those guys? Oh, it was the Armstech president. That's right. I, I don't. I don't remember. It was either DARPA or Armstech. I, I get the two mixed up a lot in this game. Which, which one is which? I think that was the DARPA chief, though. The decoy octopus um, uh, copied, but he did copy him down to the blood. So maybe a third party. Hmm. I wonder, uh... Snake, can you hear me? Oh. It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi. <laughs> They're busy. Is what the Colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. And he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. 
Then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi... I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? So... She was not the person to make the decision to use Fox Dye. Now it makes a lot more sense. I mean, if you think about it, if either of those... If they programmed Fox Dye to kill the people who they were afraid of giving information, then there would be little risk of, those, of that information getting out, or less risk of that information getting out. So, it was probably whoever had operational control it was probably their decision to have to uh, to program the virus to attack those people.
he gonna turn to the right? I hope he doesn't turn to the right. I don't have time. <laughs> what did she want to tell us? I don't know. Oh, huh, three chaff grenades. Thank you, game. <laughs> that was surprisingly nice of you. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong section. What am I doing? That was unusually nice of you to give us this. There we go. I think I just threw it down the hole, but it doesn't matter. What kind of message did she want to convey to us? Hmm. Either way, we've now made it to uh, we've now made it to Metal Gear, or we've made it to the uh, or we've nearly made it to that room, I should say. Our pal key is nice and hot. Probably equipping it isn't a good idea. We might lose some of its heat on us or something. I don't know. What, what's this? More chaff grenades. That's good. This is just really giving us the chaff grenades now. Just handing those out like can like candy. Yeah, that's not that's <laughs> a very good thing. The chaff grenades are very useful. But I do have to wonder if it's only being nice to us to be mean to us later. But maybe I shouldn't get too into that right now. I should just accept it for what it is for right now. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine. 
To me, their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Okay, so, room filling with gas. Begins gas mask time. Our oxygen still goes down slowly. Um... Perhaps if I, uh, use a chaff grenade? Not exactly sure. What great timing, we just found him. If I'm remembering correctly, there isn't anything you can do here. You just have to continue- you just have to survive long enough. Body armor. Body armor isn't gonna help as much as the gas mask right now. At least I don't think so. I think once my gas mask runs out, then yeah, I think uh, the body armor helps at that point. Because of the way the game determines HP and everything, it, for some reason they didn't think about the fact that, uh, they didn't think about the fact that... Really? Body armor greater than gas mask. You gotta be messing with me, right? My O2 is almost out anyway, so I guess I could give it a, tr a try. Yeah, that's definitely not better. Sure does look that way, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going down a lot faster. The gas mask is better. I just forgot to call him. <laughs> I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Who is that? Let's see what calling uh, Master Miller. Give me guidance here. Snake, what are you doing? Go after Liquid. <laughs> Don't call me, you moron! <laughs> Let's see. 
Can I zoom in? Oops. No. Hello, liquid. There we go. I'm gonna take your picture. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, but, uh... Anyway. Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox die's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Oh, boy. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything Genetics. was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah! Snake! Your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon! Consider it 
And of course, this just wouldn't be complete without some kind of Metal Gear fight. It is Metal Gear Solid, after all. Let's call him then. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded? Yeah, try to hit that radome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you a lot of I love that Snake just accepts that. But anyway, um, I'm actually going to take a break. It's actually after midnight already. Hmm. I didn't realize it was that late. Um. You know what, screw it. I'll stay up late. It's, uh, I'm not working tomorrow anyway. Um. So, but either way, I'm going to take a very short break, and uh, I will be back in just a little bit. I might, I might end it for the night, but I don't know. Eh, I, I'll probably, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. But again, it'll it'll be after a very short break. So, see you in a, in just in just a minute. <laughs> 